Good morning, everyone, and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. Coming up, we'll show you how to test your well water. But first, a look at the importance of maintaining terraces for no-till operations. Hi there, Jason. Oh, howdy. Tell me a little bit about where we are and what kind of terraces we're looking at. Okay, uh, well, we're here in Grant County, and I brought you out here to look at uh, some recently maintained or or reform terrace and terrace channels. Um, main thing I wanted to point out is, is this is a no-till cropland field and a lot of times we don't think about maintaining our terraces in no-till but it's very it's just as important to maintain no terrace and no-till as it would be in cultivated cropland. Um, what you see here as you see he's reformed both the terrace as well as the channel uh, in this terrace and then on this other side, he's even uh, cleaned out the outlet for this terrace. And these are all important. Um, some of the issues you can come up with is uh, ponding in the terrace channel, um, ponding at the outlet, or even uh, gullies being cut through the terraces, all of which are problematic, whether it's cultivated or no-till cropland. And when you're looking at some of those ver no-till versus the more traditional, are there differences in the terraces and how they need to be maintained? Is there less maintenance, you think, with the no-till? Well, in general, we're going to have a less frequent need for maintenance in no-till, um, but it's still important uh, to go out there, particularly you know this time of year. For, if you're in a fallow period, it's a nice time to go out and check and make sure that they're all working properly. And just do some of that maintenance kind of like this farmer yeah, has done Yeah, just here. like this producer's done right now. Um, you mentioned some of the problems like ponding, uh, some other things that may result if you don't do that regular maintenance. Talk about that a little bit. All right. Well, one of the most obvious is cutting of gullies through your uh, terraces. And of course, that's a very obvious problem. You're, you're reducing your yield potential because you've essentially taken that part of the terrace out of production and any down slope um, uh, land is going to be affected by that because essentially you're channelizing flow in through that terrace and then it's going to flood out onto the to the land below it and cause some potential problems. Then you've got the ponding that's within the terrace channel. There's potentially one obvious problem is uh, crop damage. If you have ponds there it could flood that crop and crop, cause crop yield loss. Another uh, thing that a lot of people don't think about, which is a particular problem in this part of Oklahoma and Grant County is saline seeps. Uh, if you have water ponded up slope, um, it can go down and hit our saline shale um, stone and then run down into your lowlands. That saline water will then come wick back to the surface and call, cause what we call a saline seep. So there are a number of issues or concerns with improperly maintained terraces. Now terraces among other topics are going to be addressed at your upcoming no-till conference? Uh, that's right. That conference of course is on February 1st and 2nd down in Norman. Yep. And covering a wide range of yeah, topics of in course, addition to that. A very wide range of topics including uh, terrace maintenance and no-till. Okay. Yeah. Jason Warren, good information. Thank you.